I ask for the highest guidance to flow through me now with whatever we need to know as a collective and as individuals on earth right now. First of all, dear light tribe of Gaia, know that we are with you every step of the way as you fight your way through chaotic nodes into the light. Many of you have heard this term chaotic nodes. It refers to pockets of turbulence on your planet created by a combination of synthetic and natural occurrences what we would call synthetic are interferences caused by what you might have called in the past the powers that be or the Illuminati and which we would jokingly prefer you to refer to as the powers that have been for there are no groups no collectives no organizations on your planet that have any power to control you dear ones you are way past the point where humanity was tied in a net of constriction that did not allow any consciousness of expansion, awakening, progress. You are way past this point. And so, yes, these powers that have been will still attempt to entrap you within the snares of fear for no matter what is thrown at you through the media you must know that you are absolutely free to choose your own path your own way your own thoughts your own beliefs and your own paths of action and so this chaotic node which presents itself in the form of a virus and a lot of propagation of myths and lies around this virus. This is simply one of many chaotic nodes that are synthetically created and that then combine with the natural laws of your planet where like attracts like which means that fear attracts fear and when there is an escalation of fear there is always contraction. So, notice the signs of contraction, dear ones. When a person or society or a planet moves into contraction, there is a movement towards separation rather than unity. So individuals are encouraged to feel separate from each other and to desire to be separate from each other. The symbol of this latest separation is in the form of masks that are worn to avoid contagion from another and which propagate a feeling of fear of others others that may do you harm willingly or unwillingly 
there is a separation between borders in some cases where an entire country is encouraged to be in fear of another country and the citizens of another country and so freedom of movement is interrupted but what we wish you to notice is that freedom of thought can not be disturbed and so of course the awakeners on the planet have an entirely different outlook than the masses who are still in zombie land and who are accepting the pellets that are fed them as they tread their hamster wheels. You, the awakeners, have the right to see this chaotic node for what it is. It has the potential to free you even further, to awaken you even more, to expand your consciousness on an exponential level. It is timed to occur in the lead up to this March equinox, which is extremely powerful. Always we come to you with a message before the junctions of equinox and solstice on your planet for it has been chosen for many decades now that these are times where because of the union of consciousness and worldwide circles ceremonies and meditations for peace and harmony and the co-creation of the new earth. Because of this, the powers that have been will attempt to clamp down the consciousness of the planet. Because they are in fear of you. They have lost their ways because of their entrainment into power as the only fuel, power as the only energy which is sought by them. You may have compassion in your hearts for all those who have bought into the idea that power is the primary source of energy to be desired. For of course, power in its purity is only strength within. Power comes through autonomy, through individual choice, through the ability to choose your own thoughts because you understand that you are the manifestors of your destiny, that you are the creators of your reality. This is the one and only truth, dear ones, and you must come back to it over and over again. It is the primary source of awakening when one opens in consciousness to the reality that things are not as you have been taught in your societies. They are certainly not as they are being portrayed through the press and media which is being controlled by what you call governments which are mostly held within the circle of entrapment of the powers that have been that seek to control you. We will reiterate. There is no person, no organization, no government, no source of authority 
that is able to tell you how to think and that is able to control the expansion of consciousness which is already happening on your planet. You are well on the way into the light. You have passed the 144,000 quantum shift leap into the light. Your planet has chosen expansion into fifth dimensional consciousness and you are with your planet. You are part of her. Of course, there are many who choose to exit the planet at this time through their own free will. This happens sometimes in greater mass than usual through natural disasters, some of which are not entirely natural, but which also have been propagated in some form or other in order to move you backwards into fear rather than forwards into love. And in this chaotic node which you are now experiencing on the planet, there are many who choose to leave as usual. And you must understand that every single being on your planet every single being who chooses to leave and to move into the spheres of light or to move into another reality on another plane at any time does so with their own free will on a higher self level it is chosen, the exact time of leaving is chosen. And you must remember that these ones are not dead, that they have not ceased to exist. This is also primary knowledge, one of the primary ways that you move out of entrapment of fear and into expansion of consciousness is understanding the continuum of light and the fact that these mortal bodies, these physical vehicles of yours are temporary. Those of you who truly understand what is happening right now, understand that you are morphing from physical beings whose only way of moving into the true light is to let go of your physicality into beings who can move at will from your physical form into your light form. Take the example of the Jesus Christ light child who learned how to move from his physical body into his light body and back again through the yogic trainings with Babaji and other masters. This was called the resurrection. But in terms of what you are learning, what you are experiencing right now and what you are moving towards, it is called ascension into the light body. Know that your ascension on this planet does not mean that all of you will leave your physical bodies. It means that you acquire the ability to move in and out of your light and physical bodies as you finally learn how to be the multi-dimensional masters that you are. Dear people of Gaia, we ask you right now to close your eyes for a few minutes. We ask you to take a deep breath in. Holding 
your breath for a few moments and letting go through your mouth. Ah. Entering into that blissful state. Where you experience yourselves as light and energy. Feel your physical body sitting on the chair or cushion or lying down as it may be. Feel the contact of your physical body on the physical surface. And simultaneously look inside. See, feel, know, experience the chakric wheels Muladhara, Svadhisthana, Manipura, Anahata, Visuddha, Ajna, Sahasrara. Beautiful chakric wheels of color swirling through your central line. And see how they spin their light and energy out through your physical body and past your skin barrier into your auric field. Push your auric field out, feeling as if you are concentrating and pushing the light out to the front of your body, to the back, to the left and right, above and below and see your auric field flowing and swirling around your body now in all directions creating a cocoon of light and you will spin a golden thread of light around this cocoon moving sunwise or clockwise now from the top of the egg-shaped aura spinning that golden thread of light around and around until it joins below your body at the bottom of your auric field see this golden crust of light two or three centimeters thick now and now expand your auric field pushing it out one meter two meters three perhaps up to seven meters in all directions front back left right above and below all the while maintaining consciousness of that outer glowing golden crust of energy that you have spun feel your auric field settling into the perfect place the perfect distance in all directions for you in this moment And now see a violet or royal blue glow of light outside of the golden crust. As if the whole of you is also surrounded by a glow of violet or royal blue light that increases your sense of confidence You are absolutely protected and this is all that is needed, dear ones. There are no face masks needed 
There are no shutdowns needed. All that is needed is your own awareness that you choose your thoughts and beliefs, that you choose your own reality. We wish you to affirm now, I am an awakener. I came to this planet to be of service. I choose a path of service now. And this is my greatest joy. I embrace change. I step forward into the light. All is perfectly well in my world right now. Namaste.